four in the area of Misrata. And uh, we, uh, we saw a convoy. And in fact, we had no idea that uh, Gaddafi was on board. In fact, I was surprised that Gaddafi was in CERT area. And we put our weapon systems on the, on, uh, the convoy twice. Uh, and we achieved the aim of stopping the convoy and slowing it down. There were rocket and machine guns on some of the pickup trucks, and it was, for us, in our assessment, a clear threat, potential threat to the population. Thank you. Thank you very much for your question. Essentially, today, all areas have been freed, and the coastal areas of Libya are under the control of the MTC. The threat of organized attacks from Gaddafi regime remnants is essentially gone. From our perspective, then, are the objectives that were assigned to Unified Protector, Protector have been met. In the end of the, at the end of the day, it is a success for NATO, but more importantly, it is a Libyan victory. We, there's over 3,000 kilometers of border along this country, a uh, borderline around this country, which borders on nations that are not necessarily most supportive of reducing the movement of illegal weapons. So there will be challenges in the future, and here again, uh, we count on the NTC to establish as soon as possible secure border area to minimize the movement of it. Okay.